What's up Falcons? Today I wanted to do a little technique talk with chalk. I wanted to show you a really cool thing that you can do with chalk and I know some of you guys have chalk because I have seen all of your amazing chalk projects on Artsonia. So check out Zach's from kindergarten, Ambria's from first grade, Connor's from second grade, uh, Jillian's from fifth grade, Aubrey's from sixth grade, and Ava's from seventh. What? Those are amazing. Keep them coming. Okay, so the supplies that you're gonna need to try this technique is um, two sheets of paper. Let me talk about this though. I actually painted my canvas black. I don't have any construction paper at the house and I filmed this same video yesterday and it's really hard to see the chalk on the white paper. So if you have construction paper, that works really well. Um, it works on white paper, it just doesn't transfer through the video really well. So that's the only reason my canvas is black. But you need two sheets of paper, you need um, some chalk, and then definitely something to put underneath because chalk can be very messy. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your sheet of paper and you're going to rip across the top. Now you want it to be as lumpy and bumpy as possible. So you're gonna take that sheet of paper then and hold it across your paper. And using your chalk, you're gonna color right on the very top edge. Now it's important to know, I'm not coloring on my background paper, I'm only coloring on the edge of my second paper that I tore. And then the further along you go in this project, you're gonna notice that your fingers get really dirty. So it's important probably too to have a tissue or a towel next to you so you can wipe your fingers. So anyway, I'm gonna hold the paper nice and tight and I'm gonna take a finger and I'm basically gonna brush upwards right across where I tore the paper to smear that chalk onto the paper. And then when you take it away, you get this beautiful effect happening that you could turn in, you could make a piece of artwork based on the Northern Lights. Um, these could turn into mountain ranges. It could be ocean waves. I mean, it could be so many different things. So let's do a couple other lines just so I can show you. You can tilt your paper. You can have them going at an angle. So again, I'm gonna wipe off my finger or use a new finger. I'm gonna hold the paper and then I'm just gonna push that color right off onto the paper underneath. And when I pull it away, look at that. That is beautiful. All right, let's do a couple more. Pretty cool. So you get the idea, right? You can do super cool things with this chalk technique. It's a really interesting way to give your pictures some, a lot of space. So here was one that I finished yesterday of the Northern Lights. So I can't wait to see what you create. 